Hi guys, uh, here's another demo of one of our pro projects called the Clock Capture Module. Um, one of the greatest products I think that we've actually come up here with is Synthotech. What it does is it takes an audio, uh, an audio signal that's stereo, splits it off into a right and left channel. The left channel goes out into audio out, so you can hear what's coming out of, out of the left channel. Everything that goes to the right channel goes to the clock out. So what this allows me to do, the first thing that I'll do is um, I'm using a DS10 software for my Nintendo DS. What I'm doing here is if you want to zoom in, is I have made um, a beat track, so to speak, on synth 2, and I've panned that all the way over to the right. Because remember, everything that comes out of the right channel is going to be converted into a clock pulse. That clock pulse can then go into a sequencer, it can be used as a trigger, it can be used as a lot of things, but in this case it's going into a sequencer, which is then going into my Yamaha CS5 synth, um, allowing me to basically use um, a, a laptop, a uh, DS10 software, whatever it may be, and use it to control my analog gear. So this clock capture device has a ton of features that can really make your life easier wanting to integrate your digital gear in with um, your analog gear. So the first thing that I'll do is I've already made my, I've already made my little track uh, that has a click, and it's just pretty much on 4-4 it's just pretty much on four, four time. So um, not a lot of crazy variation yet. I just want to give you guys the idea of how it works. So I basically will take my, odd, my stereo audio um, cable out of my headphone jack here on the DS-10, plug it into the audio in. So what happens now is everything that I've panned in my DS-10 software over to the right, like I said, is going to go to the clock output. And everything over to the left, everything that, I, everything that I've panned over to the left is going to come out the audio out so I can still hear what I've done. So I'm going to plug a, um, a, a, a cable here into my audio out, and then I'm going to plug it into my... Um, Barbie jam box that I've made here out of my uh, lo-fi um, uh, amplifier and um, when I hit play here on the DS-10 you're gonna hear everything coming out of the left channel it's a really simple simple little little synth song I made nothing very complicated whatsoever about it but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in everything that I want to be in my clock out. Everything that's panned over to the right channel, I'm going to I'm going to plug that in into my sequencer. So it'll it'll basically operate my synth. So that. So this is controlling the clock speed. You can see the tempo right in here. If you zoom in, it's grabbing the tempo of it, of everything that's happening on the right channel. Turn it down a little bit. I've made that kind of a long release. So let's go in here and edit synth one. So basically, you can hear coming out of here the other tracks that I've made that I've pinned over to the left. It can get a lot more complicated, of course, but this is controlling my sequencer, which is allowing me to control other analog gear. Um, so uh, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Um, I can add tracks to this to um, have other sounds coming out of this. Um, let's go to my mixer and enable my other tracks.
So remember, and remember, everything you're hearing now, this is just what's coming out of the clock on everything that I've panned over to the right through my Yamaha CS5. When I plug in my audio out, everything here has been panned over to the left. And so I can merge these two things. That also allows me now to come in here and mess with my synth and really be able to get some kind of fun sounds and work with it all together. Now, if I go in here into my DS10 software and I change my beat per minute, I'm at 40 right now, which isn't very much. You can see that everything picks up and it starts speeding up. Increase the tempo a little more. I'm gonna just, just the different knobs here to get different noises. 